महाभारत एपिसोड वन बृहस्पति स्कर्स एंड तारास चाइल्ड सदगुरु किक्स ऑफ द महाभारत स्टोरी बाय टेलिंग अस हाउ वन ऑफ द एंसेस्टर्स ऑफ द पांडवास एंड कौरवास वॉज बर्न सदगुरु यू नीड टू बी एब्सोल्यूटली इन्वॉल्व नॉट लुकिंग एट इट लाइक अ पीस ऑफ हिस्टोरी बट एज योर स्टोरी बींग ए पार्ट ऑफ इट We want to walk through the story, not hear someone else's story. As I already mentioned, it would be completely unfair to judge people from 5,000 years ago by your values, your morals, your ethics, or whatever else. I want you to think like them, be like them, experience it the way they did, not the way you think today. These were the times when transactions between the planet, Earth, and other forms of lives were very frequent. There are various aspects of Mahabharat that you will find simply unbelievable but you should not disbelieve anything because we are in the 21st century we value dissection more than an embrace but right now i want you to embrace this story and these characters the human beings animals yakshas kinnaras ganas devas gods and goddesses all kinds only then you will understand why it was the way it was and above all why it is relevant to you in a state of dissection you would miss the whole spirit of it prayaspadi chief priest of indra many thousands of years ago there was a master priest and scholar whose name was prayaspadi naturally indra the king of gods himself hired him as his official priest a priest was very important because it was dwapar yuga a time when rituals were the most significant aspect of people's life they learn to use methods and substances to impact their own life the situations around them and the lives of others a remnant of this ritualistic culture still lives on in the southern part of the country kerala has probably kept up more ritual and in greater purity than any other part of the country brihaspati and his wife tara brihaspati had a wife by the name of tara brihaspati represents the planet jupiter tara means star In ancient India the woman's place in the ritual was as important as a man's this arrangement that a man could not perform a ritual without his wife made sure that though the physical condition outside were harsh still women had an equal place a man could not receive blessings without his wife a man could not go to heaven without his wife a man could not attain mukti without his wife all the rituals were established in such a way that at no point society could disregard women in any sense Today women have a little bit of freedom but unfortunately with this freedom they are losing many privileges they used to have Today women have reasonably equal rights I am saying reasonably because maybe by the law they are equal but in terms of enforcement it is still only reasonable This shift towards equal rights has happened only because modern technology sort of levels the field and not because of a true transformation of humanity In Brahmaputra's time the social norms or what was referred to as dharma ensured that a woman could not be used abused or neglected because she was very important part of a man's life in terms of physical strength and muscles he would have just wiped her out but the spiritual dimensions of a life was not possible for him unless his woman was next to him therefore he had to value her tara falls in love with the moon god though he was king of god's priest Brahmaputra needed Tara for whatever he did. He was holding on to her only because he would otherwise lose his employment and he himself pillandered all over the place. Seeing this one day Tara looked up at the full moon and she fell in love with the moon god Chandra. Chandra himself came down to the earth. They got into a big romance and after some time she eloped with him. Brahmaputra became furious because it was not just about losing his wife but losing his job. his prestige his place in society and he would not be able to enter devaloka the god's world anymore he called indra and said i want my wife back you have to get her back otherwise i will not perform your rituals indra interfered and compelled tara to come back this was the first time that someone was compelled to stick to a certain family structure when indra said you have to come back tara answered no my love is up there he said your emotions do not matter your dharma is to be with brahmaputra because unless you stay with him my rituals will go bad so she was brought back taras and chandra's child tara was pregnant brahmaputra wanted to know whose child it was tara refused to speak people gathered she still refused to speak 
then from inside the womb the unborn child asks the question whose child am i really in the appreciation of the intelligence of this child who while still in the womb wanted to know what seed he was made of people said you may refuse to tell your husband you may refuse to tell the gods but you cannot refuse to tell your unborn child tara said it is chandra's child the child was born and named buddha after the planet mercury Braspati got very angry that his wife was carrying the child of another man. He cursed the child saying, "May you become a neuter, neither a man nor a woman." The child was born and named Buddha after the planet Mercury. As he grew up, he lamented to his mother, "What am I supposed to do? Should I live as a man? Should I live as a woman? What is my dharma? Should I become an ascetic? Should I get married? Should I marry a man or a woman?" Tara said, existence as space for all these billions and billions of stars all the other kinds of things and variety of creatures who are neither a man nor woman nor gods nor devils when existence as space for all that don't you worry for you to there is space for you to there will be life you simply be life will come your way to be continued in next episode